Hi there! In the new updates, we added a new physics filter, which is called separation of motion. This tool helps you to smooth out the angular momentum. Let me show you how it works. In this animation, the character is performing a cartwheel. And as you can see, the whole body is moving as one. Now let's turn on auto physics and enable separation of motion. And set it to about 50% to begin with. So what we can see is that to preserve the angular momentum, the character rotates the body first, then the legs catch up and the pose straightens out, and at the end the body catches up. This way, because different body parts rotate separately and independently from each other, the angular momentum on the whole interval is smoothed out. The higher the value you set for the filter, the more changes you will see in the animation. Sometimes in cases which involve a loss of rotation, you may notice that the head would behave strangely. This happens because by default the head points try to keep global rotation. To fix that, select all the points of the head and the interval which you want to be affected, and in the object properties, turn on Apply and Selected Interval, and under Auto Physics Apply, reduce the global rotation value. If set to zero, the head would fully inherit the rotation of the neck. Here's another example of using separation of motion. In this animation, the character rotates 360, and having enabled the filter, we can see how different body parts rotate separately. And of course, the value you set for the filter will depend on the kind of animation you're working with, and on the end result you're going for. However, this effect is going to be less noticeable on shorter intervals, because blending into the final pose requires a number of frames. Which means that the more frames you have before the final pose, the more prominent the effect will be. So overall, this filter works best for the animations which involve dramatic rotations.